What is going on guys? We are back for our Man of Maiden part 3. Now we might be on the finale now, we might not be, I don't know. We're going to find that out I suppose. And then if, um, if it is a finale we will be getting on to our Guardians of the Galaxy stream. So that will be our next game to play as a walkthrough. I also have gone really uh, behind on clips and things, so I need to focus on getting them all back on my TikTok. But I thought I would get this, um, you know, I thought I'd get into this today. Now, if you've been looking forward to playing this so far, we've got Fliss that survived with Alex and Julia in the top deck. Conrad escaped in a speedboat earlier on from the captors. Um, and obviously Brad died because we seen an illusion or something, I'm not too sure. We had a scene where Brad was getting captured by zombies. And I also had a scene where, he, in a premonition, he got stabbed. So I'm not too sure how that's happened, but we might find out further along down the game. But I'm not too sure yet. As I say, once I've completed this walkthrough, if it is the finale, we'll be getting into our Guardians of the Galaxy, and then we will be waiting to see what happens with the Devil Within Me. That should come out November time, so maybe... All depends on how long Guardians of the Galaxy will take. So we're with Julia now, as I said, but... As I was saying, it all depends how long the Guardians of the Galaxy takes. We might play a game after that. But, um, who knows. Right, let's get into the game. Uh, uh, brother Lee is running pretty crazy right now. So, nothing agitated. There was a fucked up ceremony concerned sorry I didn't uh, there was a someone saw me once in the room he attacked me wait what who attacked me solemn don't worry I've taken care of him restrain the same arsehole in a rope or some arsehole in a rope um Some arsehole in a room. Some asshole. Ah. Well, if there's one thing Brad is good at, it's voiding confrontations. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw. Like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I've never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing good, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Fearful, is this a ghost ship? Baffled, where's the gold? Say nothing. Um, we don't want to know where the gold is. Is this a ghost ship? Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. And so where are the crew? Probing what happened on the ship. Um, where are the crew? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. 
So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. Baffled, where's the gold? Suspicious, this place is weird. This place is weird. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. Everything about this place is wrong. Baffled, where's the gold? Probing what happened on the ship. Alright, so where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? If there was gold here, we would have seen it by now. Okay. It still doesn't explain anything. We know more than we did before. That's up to that least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a rate ring. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Okay, so we're with Alex again. The top deck of the ship. What's up, Zeus? What's wrong? Huh? So we're at the top of the ship. We've just escaped um, Alex's double, which is um, one of our captors. We've got Julia with us as well. Fliss obviously stabbed the demon. We gotta get out of the escaped. Stand, yeah. Last time we uh, did that, and we uh, didn't stab the person, because we thought it was Brad, because we had a premonition of Br Brad getting stabbed. So obviously, um, we thought, okay, we won't do that the first time round. This is not, um, and I end up not stabbing the person, and it turns out to be a demon, and it kills Fliss. We do stab the person this time and we see Brad in a pile of blood but we did see before then Brad with some zombies around him or demons or spirits on they're, they're more like spirits really or demons than zombies I know it sounds crazy but maybe it was these guys Secret found anti-aircraft shell casing. A shell casing found near a gun on their ship. The gun had been fired. Update the gunners on the ship attack the sea air rescue plane. Okay, can we go and find out and see what Zeus wants? It's alright. I got two more. Zeus, come here. I got a missing lifeboat. A lifeboat is missing from the B-29 plane. It had been launched during the plane's mission. I've got two updates here. The plane must have been flying low to drop the lifeboat when it was shot at. The ship crew attacked the B-29 due to hallucinations. Okay, and we've got one more. So anti-aircraft shell. A shell on the wrecked B-29 found lodged in the plane. The wrecked B-29 was shot down. Update, the B-29 was gunned down from the Garang or the Aurang Meden. So the ship obviously gunned yeah, down. Gunned down. down. That, so that wreckage that we've seen at the very start of the game, that ship, that ship, that um, aircraft was the same aircraft that was gunned down by this boat, Navy boat. So that's interesting. Got some kind of um, ship yeah, with holes in. Could use these if they weren't Swiss cheese. So it's like a little mini um, sailboat, rowboat, but it's got holes in, so it's not to any use, unfortunately. Okay.
find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Okay, so we've got some kind of metal container. We've got another body with a... What? A body with a gas mask placed over the guy's um, face. Okay, so then it's got gas mask instructions. So these are obviously instructions, I'm not going to get into it really. These are all instructions um, of how to fit your gas mask on the, um, on your face, you know, step one, two, it's got six here, so one to six. These are all like little, um, you know, indications of what to do. <laughs> Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. And it's got the rest of the instructions on the back, so it's 1 to 9 actually. And it says at the bottom, gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. Okay, so... Got gas mask instructions, a memo instructing someone to issue gas masks. To any soldiers working with chemicals in cargo, there must have been a risk of a gas leak with the cargo. Okay. So as I said, he's got some guy wearing a gas mask. Could have been a woman, for all I know. Woman, man. I presume it's a man, obviously, um, because of the figure. But it's got instructions from 1 to 9 of instructing how to wear a gas mask and what to do in, a, in case of an emergency. Right. So we've got something here. Hey! A little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a look. Okay, so they've gotten onto this deck now. Let's see what's up here. So I don't think there's anything back this way, if I remember. No. Okay. Looks like some kind of um, radio in there, by the looks of it. So anything to look at this way? I don't think there is. I think we personally are good. Uh, 
don't think you're going to get out of there, buddy. That way, anyway. So you can't go down that way. It's obviously a floor missing down that way. So we want to go through here. Okay, we've got a log book. Okay, it says a swell from the west, uh, a swell from the wheat waves 20 foot. No damage reported. PM weather continues to deteriorate and does as does forecast. Crew bearing up. AM wind at storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning lightning strikes hitting om but causing no sustained damage we're leaking some water but it's under control navigator port c bed depth readable bearing updated okay so it says operational and we found a secret as well so it's got operational logs for ss our rank so it's got AM sea going down, noon thick fog, PM increasing head PM, AM 7.30 fog very thick, midnight PM dense fog continues. So let's have a look at these secrets. So we've got two there. So we've got a maiden hat. So the, a hat with the word Meaden printed on it. The rest of the print is illegible. Meaden is part of the ship's name. Update the name of the ship is the Aurang Meaden. So we have already read that, but I was just making sure we are, you know, I'm just going over it again in this um, stream. Came up as a new clue. So we, like I've said before, even if I've read it before, I will read it again if it comes up as a new clue. Ship's logbook. The ship's logbook shows that the name of the ship starts with the word Aurang. Update. The name of the ship is the Aurang Maiden. Awesome. Okay. And then look at the bearing. So we want to go through some of these bearings. So Fliss found the knife in the cargo hold. Brad found the spanner above the cargo hold. Later, Fliss encountered a hooded figure. She stabbed the figure with the knife and ran away. Okay, Alex found a knife in the kitchen and chose to keep it. After getting out of the water, something that looked like Alex grabbed the knife and chased Alex and Julia. Alex and Julia were able to escape from the thing that looked like Alex. Military bandwidth. Okay, so that's saying Fliss found a captain's hat with the name ending in G and then made an after it. We now found out what it is. It's Aurang. Alex found a logbook with the name Aurang and then a word beginning with M. So it's Aurang Maiden as we've pretty much just discovered anyway. Okay, that's locked. So we've just come from that area. There's a dead body there. What's up with Zeus tonight? Is this a premonition? It is, I think. Okay, it's got a premonition of one of our captors shooting themselves in the head. 
Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming we go through here then. Is this another premonition? No, it's a map. Wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Interesting. So they took a route apparently where no one was meant to know. It's like an un unscheduled route or some kind of route that shouldn't have happened. Or it did. Alright, secret found. Got nautical chart, a map showing the origin and destination of the ship. It was sailing from the Republic of China to San Francisco. Okay, we've got some kind of notes here. Nothing on it. We got secrets on the other side. They couldn't establish position. So it's got notes. United States Department of the Navy, 22nd of June. So I'm not going to say the times. It's o o. So it's o seven hundred minutes to. Well, it's ten. So I'm just going to say it as it is. Seven minutes past midnight to. 21 minutes to 2. So, this is what went down. So, it went from heavy storm blown off course, report of hold to flooded, excessive lightning strikes, adrift in shallow waters, location unknown, seabed depth believed uncharted, unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. Heavy, cl heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. Okay, so what does the secret say? Navigator's notebook. A navigator's notebook describing events during the ship's voyage. A storm had blown the ship off course. Interesting. So you can't go that way. Assuming we go this way then, through this doorway. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works. Look, radio science hasn't changed much in seven years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Okay. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Frantic, this is <coughs> excuse me. Frantic, this is emergency instructive. Our coordinates are. But we want to start with our coordinates are. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Anxious, we're on the hour round maiden panic. This is an emergency. Um, anxious. Okay. 
We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Iran Medan. Hello. Yeah. Is anyone out there? Trophy in the name of this vessel. Awesome. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect the big guy. I can handle this, trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right, you and me, Julia. I haven't updated again. <laughs> so instead of Brad this time, Julia this time has come with us. So obviously Alex and um, Brad has died. Julia was the one to stay behind last time because we had Alex and Brad together. Broken bones. Everything still work? Is everyone all right? Casual, I'm okay. Terse, pipe down. I'm okay. I'm okay. Do you see anything? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. I'll wait here by the radio. Relationship updated. Hey. After you. Okay, so before we get into that. We haven't got any new secrets, so we are going to go on our bearings. We've got two new bearings. Okay, they gave their coordinates and revealed that their name of the ship was Arang Medan. Okay. Alex and Julia went down the hole in the radio room. Okay. So if you remember, this is where the prologue started, pretty much. Charles Anderson was one of these um, people in the, you know, he's one of the people that fought against the other guy, his, his friend. Okay. So we've got medical officer's report. Now if you remember at the very start of the prologue, this um, metal container was locked we couldn't open it it's open now so minutes of meeting between scientist x cwo walter bishop and cwo tom palmer with sergeant peter wood observing and n x for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing the western world must be protected from the United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare are apt limited by the Geneva Protocol have experiments we are unable to. Got secrets on the back. Describes an investigation during to the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure. Hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian Gold chemical munitions battle it was even relatively minor observed we trigger signif significant hallucinations men 
highly convincing subjects seeing on here and things that really were not there even the danger was man was manifold and in its intensity so obviously that sentence paragraph didn't really make sense but again where you've got the three dots that's where I'm reading from and to so that is basically along the lines of what's happened the secrets missing lifeboats I'm sure we've read this one already so yeah we've we've already got that bit of information okay minutes of meeting a confession from a person known as scientist X stating that what the Americans codenamed Manchurian gold was an investigation into distributing chemicals on the battlefront the chemicals cause violent paranoid hallucinogen hallucinations should I say so obviously this Mancurian gold isn't actually gold it's a chemical um, that causes violent paranoid hallucinations and it possibly is what caused and mutated those people in the uh, what they called now canal okay, in the crypts kind of thing tombs yeah and then this is the brig week of what happened this is basically as I've said it's got a day-to-day -day of what's been going on and what you know say if someone's been drunk it's been recorded that day say if someone's um, stolen something been recorded that kind of information is there anything to look at here no all right so this is charles anderson's room or area anyway we're gonna get out of here I hope you're right. Okay, we've got a new area again. Let's go down this way. So this is the area where we seen Brad. Brad was around this area. He obviously has passed away since. I think it's the same area anyway. It looks so, very similar. Right, let's drop down there. Come take a look. Look, look. 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 Down there. <laughs> Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out now. Shit, shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait, wait. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. Okay. So he meant to keep going on. Fuck. What's up? You didn't fucking see that? Right. No. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying the Chirin gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations, that was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know, it seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Oh God. All right, let's get going. Because we've just read about the Mancurian gold basically being a, you know, hallucinogenic kind of experiment, chemical kind of warfare. 
That's why everyone basically have gone to shit. So I'm gonna go this way because I've got a feeling we need to go over this way. And we found a logbook. I thought we did. Yeah, so basically all the Mancurian gold is um, a chemical warfare drug. It's been carried onto the Navy board, um, hence why everyone started seeing things. Not sure if that was a demon child at the very start of the prologue, or if it was just a hallucinogenic, where everyone basically killed themselves, shooting each other because they're hallucinated. Okay, it's got a log book of engine room telegraph log. Okay, so it says 22.37. 2 slash 3 ahead, bell acknowledged, engine speed adjusted. 23.10. Stand ahead, bell acknowledged, engine set to standard speed. 23.45. Lieutenant Young report to believe me of watch duty. I relayed engine running at standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer and no maintenance or hazard issues in engine room. I found Lieutenant Young to be of a sober and compass mentis disposition to hand over watch at 2400. Basically midnight signed G. Phillips. Midnight relieved. LT, Lieutenant, obviously, uh, JG in brackets, Phillips, of watch at midnight hours. Inspected engine room for abnormalities, performed equipment and machinery checks prior to watch, no faults found. Previous log entries examined, currently standard speed engine, no new bridge orders. Eight minutes past midnight. Full ahead, bell acknowledged, full speed ahead. 23 minutes past midnight. Flank ahead, flank bell. Acknowledged, engine adjusted to maximum speed. So obviously there's something going on past midnight. 26 minutes past midnight. Standing order from chief engineer. Cut engine room power from all non-essential lighting and machinery. And it's got 1.05 a.m. Chief engineer entered engine room for emergency inspection. So we found another secret. So 29 minutes, 29 minutes past one. Stop bell acknowledge cut engine power. 32 minutes past one. Order received to anchor in shallow water. What does the secret say? So it's got engine room telegraph log. An order book from the engine room describing the orders carried out by engine room crew. The ship had been ordered to stop for anchor. So obviously there's something going on with um, the electronics. There's something going on with the engine room itself as well. So we've had the mechanic, the uh, electrics, and the actual ship itself. This all this stuff at the bottom here is the Mancurian gold, which is causing the hallucinations. Now it makes sense. So I think that's what we need to do. Before we get onto that, we're gonna check this out. We've got someone's corpse here. What do you think? I don't like it. Someone attacked that corpse recently. Too recently. Stone, we need to keep moving. Uneasy is pretty weird. Um, it's pretty weird. 
pretty weird that whatever damage is done to that thing has been recent. We're just wasting time. Let's go. So is there any other secrets down here before oh, there's something up there? Another premonition, I'm assuming. Okay. It's got a premonition of what I assume is one of the captors. Yeah, that looks like one of the captors. That's the main captor, actually. That's it. So if we keep going this way, we'll come back, do the main bit now. So we've got the main character, or the main um, captor, possibly dying there. I found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working. Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up here. Bearing updated. When power was restored, the radio came back to life. Okay. We lost power. It could happen again. We're back up now. Do you read us? Over. Please see your situation. Over. Listen, they took my boat, they kidnapped us, and they are attacking us on the freighter. You have to hurry, please. Over. Baron updated. The voice on the radio told them that help was coming. Okay, so we need to make our way back out of here. I want to take it just in case, personally. We should take it. Parts of the ship are completely underwater. We got the new bearing update again. <laughs> so there's Dolly. He's alive after all, for now anyway. So they've just killed Danny. All these three were meant to be captors. Danny was one of the captors, but um, they've just killed him. That's a distributor cap that we've just seen on the side. We need that to escape. Basically, in um, need to escape because we've still got our um, Duke of Milan. It's like our little boat at the side of this massive ship. Remember what I said, guys? All this um, stuff is making them hallucinate things. So we need to keep calm. Fuck off. Definitely press that button then. Definitely did it again. Bear 
is no use hiding, you little slut. What's the problem with sharing all that gold? Eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? You can't have all the gold. <laughs> again, I pressed it again, man. Crushed it again. Skeptical, there is no mist. Curious, what does the mist do? Wait, what is this mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us, now. Please, just calm down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down, now! Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Here yeah, you bring them the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! There is no mist. Worried there was something in the last room. There is no mist. Dude, there is no mist. Ah, mate. Oh. Fuck. No. <laughs> you fucking bastard. Oh, nice. No, what? We chose the wrong button and that's what happens. That's what this game's all about. We thought we'd try and mix it up a bit and it's worked out worse for us. That blue screen. I'll, there you are. I was just about to say turn on Holly's light just because I can't be playing like that. Well, we've got. Julie's died, obviously, from the wrong choice. Zeus, stop making noises, pal. Oh, come on! It's just like that fucking movie with the ship in the, the water. The way less like, dancing. God damn it. Don't I get a stunt double at least? Far, the possibilities are death by gunfire, death by falling, death by drowning, and now death by boredom. Alexa, turn Holly's lights What's on. What's happening? 
Okay. There you are. Okay. Let's turn Harley's brightness level down to one. A couple things share that name. Let's well, turn Harley's light to level one. Which one did you want? Harley's light. Okay. Okay, now what's going on with this? Brightness. I'm go down in the hole. Okay, so we're with Fliss now. We've gone and got Julia killed because of um, one decision. Which I think is a bit unfair when the game's like that, but it can be cruel like that where you make literally one decision. Uh, Zeus, no. Zeus, shut up. You know how to get up the bed. Zeus, stop. Do you want to let you out? Yeah, right, go on then. See you later. There we're back, guys. Dogs barking, Julia dying. What else, shall we? A massive light streak in the middle of your camera. A massive light streak in the middle of the camera. Let's just see if we can fix Maybe it. Maybe it clean. There you are. It actually oh, was. Yeah. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Nice. Yeah, a smudge in the camera. Dog barking and Julia dying. Great things for the dark anthology. Well, you've got to make it your own unique way of playing, though, haven't you? you know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying. Huh. The gentle sounds of a haunted nightmare boat. The gentle sounds. I'd say it's gentle. Right. Premonition here. And this was a premonition of Little Hope, which we've already played. Okay, we've got another internal memorandum. To all field officers, the scale of our search and recovery mission across the area has yielded results for greater than expected. In fact, unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any missing persons and the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. 
secret on the back. I guess it'll have to be... I guess it'll have to be Hawking's. Poor bastard, there's always nothing left of him. I know this isn't ideal, guys, but they're giving... They'll give him a proper funeral and the respect he deserves once we get got his body back home. We'll just have to make this work for now. So we got two new secrets. Small casket. A small casket designed for a child. Updates twice. Because of shortages, the coffin was used to transport an adult. This may have caused the rumours about a ghost child. Casket shortage memo. A memo stating that there was a shortage of adult caskets. Due to there being little left of it, one of the bodies could be transported using a child's casket. It's being weird, isn't it? Jack, back off. I'm backing off. Okay. Just calm down. Got more of that toxic stuff. Get out of there! Come on! Press it or do we want to wait? Now. Definitely 
pressed it again. Definitely pressed it again. Done. It happened again, guys, but to Fliss this time instead. So we actually done a lot worse than we did last Fliss. time. Actually, you actually pretty much said that we can't stay on our people, but... Yeah. Just different ones. The thing is... No! The Brad one was a bit unfair, so was the Julia one. No! He hasn't even got his brother this time. He didn't have his girlfriend last time. That's what I mean, he's not got any of them this time. <laughs> and if we'll ever find out how Brad died, that'd be interesting. Like to know what happened with Brad. Hello. There is. No, no. I think we still got Conrad. <laughs> so we saved them, I think. Anyway. Tell me how that happened. Hello? Alex, Julia! Are you guys here? So I presume, obviously, 
same thing happens to Conrad again. He uh, hallucinates and starts seeing things and gets trapped inside the school ship. Much about it, can you? Think if they all survive, he, Conrad, might live. Actually, let's you pause at this time. See? So, guys, we have finished our Man of Meden. We got worse off than we did the last time round. But, it's the way it goes sometimes, huh? That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, please. Could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends what makes you happy, really. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Good man. It's inevitable. Want to swear over to another year? Want to swear over to another year? Want to swear me over to another year? He looks weird too. Alright, we're going to wait for this to load back up onto the menu screen. Okay, we've got a cutscene here of what happens to Conrad. <laughs> awesome. And then this is obviously Little Hope. Whoever it was, And we know how that went down. Okay. Wait for it to just get to the menu and I will give you my thoughts. Alright guys, well, as I said, as I said earlier on, I personally, um, I've done worse than I did the first time round. Shame, really. Different characters. Managed to save Fliss, but she died later on. 
but she was our last character to die so that's some achievement we did end up killing off Brad though which we saved the first time round he was the only character with Alex to survive um, a great game as I've said we've done it all backwards as I've said before um, so we did House of Ashes then we did um, Little Hope which is the game that we were that is being advertised because this game basically Man of Medan came out in 2019 so it'd be the advertisement would have been Little Hope back then um, and then now we've done Man of Medan so we have got that all completed we are going to move on to Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy so You're that Oh, yeah. You are excited. What do you mean? Excited? Well, I'm looking forward to playing it, yeah. I'm not excited like a little kid, but, you know, I, I'm looking forward to playing it. Um, mainly because it's a blind walkthrough. And, you know, I've always been into Marvel games. Spider-Man is my favourite um, PlayStation Marvel game so far. I've only played the... You know, Spider-Man 1, I haven't played Spider-Man Mars Morales. I will, might be getting into that at some point in the future. Might not, I'm not too sure. But, I mean, as I've said, you know, I am looking forward to playing Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. And also, it's going to be a blind walkthrough where I don't know what's going to be happening. In the last three games, I've known what is going to basically happen. Um... But in my little Guardians of the Galaxy, I won't know. So that's going to be interesting. It's going to be something I'm going to look forward to. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's stream. I'll be getting this onto my YouTube channel. And it is the finale, so you know that's also great as well. But obviously Guardians of the Galaxy is going to, well I would have thought it would take a lot more um, walkthrough hours. So if it does get a bit too long, then I'll be doing, I'll be switching from Marvel Gal Guardians of the Galaxy to a shorter um, walkthrough. So I'll be switching between those two if it does get a bit like God of War. But, um, and then obviously the Fortnite content will keep happening on my Twitch account. Um, all the clips I need to keep up with. I've got a couple of streams to catch up on, but that will be going all onto my TikTok um, channel, which is um, Lion Clown Entertainment, which is, um, that's my TikTok handle. So anyway, guys, I will catch you in the next stream. I hope you have a good night. Well, it's night here anyway. And I will see you next time. Peace out.